this a uh, little bit with head coach Tom Crean, but there are some big time games for Indiana in the non-conference. A good chance to gauge just where they are. They'll go out to Hawaii to take on the Jayhawks. They face North Carolina as well. The games in Indianapolis right before Christmas are always a ton of fun. And then Louisville in Indy as well. Joined by three of the Hoosiers right now, including James Blackman back from injury last year. Really good to see you, James. Thomas Bryant, Robert Johnson as well. James, I want to start with the injuries. It's the natural question, so let's just kind of get it out of the way. How are you feeling right now? How have you been practicing? I'm feeling really great. You know, my rehab went well. I'm just working hard every day, and I feel better than I did before, so I'm, I feel great. Better than you did before you were hurt? Yeah, definitely. How so? Oh, no, better than I was. Oh, before. okay. Uh, I was going to say, wow, that, that, uh, that's, that's really remarkable. Robert, you're coming off an injury as well. Give us a sense of where you are physically. Yeah, I'm pretty much back at 100%. Um, I started uh, full go when we started practice probably two weeks ago, so um, I'm at a good place right now and just continue to get it strong. Excellent. Thomas, there was some question as to whether you would be here with us in this preseason this year. Some doubt as to whether maybe you might try to make that jump to the NBA. Ultimately, what were the factors that led you to decide that another year of college basketball, at a minimum, was good for you? Uh, I knew I needed to get better uh, right before the season was over. I knew right then and there I needed to come back. You know, uh, there were a lot of key things I needed to get better at on the offensive and defensive end, and also with myself as well, just on my body and uh, um, mental mindset and certain things I wanted to get better at. Take me through what you think you need to improve on. You said things on each end. What do you need to do better offensively? What do you need to do better defensively? Um, I feel as a player, you know, I need to get better at uh, my versatility on the offensive end, defensive end. Also, uh, being able to uh, help my teammates out, be more of a vocal leader out there on the court as well, and also conditioning as well. Leadership, I think, is a important question for this team. Yogi Ferrell was an unquestioned leader. It was evident from those of us on the outside. And I know in speaking to you guys during the course of the last few years and people who played with Yogi, they talked about what a tremendous leader he was. So how does this change your role? I'll ask you first, James. Robert, I want to know from you as well. How's it different with Yogi gone, and what do you have to do to make up for that absence? I feel like it does change everyone's role, you know, not just me and individually, but uh, everyone as a whole uh, collective group, just bringing uh, uh, that communication and that talk to each other um, so the young guys can look up to guys like us as leaders. How do you lead? What kind of leader are you? Um, just trying to be more of a floor general, you know, trying to be more vocal. Um, I'm a veteran now, so having young guys in the right spots. But for you, Robert. Yeah, just piggyback, piggybacking off of what James said, I think it's going to take a total team effort. I think, you know, everybody's going to have to raise that level. Um, you know, be a, more aware of certain things. Meet guys like me and James who have been here are going to have to step up and be those vocal leaders and remind the young guys and try to, you know, ease it to them and make it um, as easy as possible of a transition for them. Coach Cream was going through and listing because I think there's this natural tendency to speak about Yogi because he was the face of this team in some ways but he went through and listed hey we lost Max and we lost Troy and unfortunately Colin Hartman going down with an injury as well how does that change your role on this team beyond the leadership I mean in terms of what is expected of you on the court and how you contribute X and O wise to winning yeah um, well, I think, you know, I'm just going to have to raise my level, you know, just like everyone else. Um, you know, it's going to it's going to take me being a smarter player, um, you know, bringing all the things that we've worked on throughout the summer and just letting that, you know, show itself throughout the season. You know, Thomas, it's interesting. Sometimes you look at players and you say, man, I just question how much this guy cares. I just question how much he's into it. That has never been a question with you. I mean, your emotion on the court is so obvious. How do you, where's the Where's the balance with the emotion of being willing and, and, and showing that? Because I think your team rallies around it, but also understanding how to channel it. Um, it's very key to me because, you know, I play the game with uh, so much passion and so much heart, but also uh, you have to key that energy in as well, you know, make it good for your team, not bad for you, you know, and uh, channel into positive energy that will help you in the long run, you know, just controlling your emotions out there on the court, you know, even when things go bad, you know, still have a great mindset out there. And also when things go great, you know, don't take it too over the top. 
James, we mentioned you're coming back from injury, and yet you look at the preseason all-conference team, and there you are, mm -hmm. right? So there are clearly expectations for you, and yet there's some uncertainty as you make this return. What's the pressure like there when you, when you say, man, I haven't really been out there for a while, and yet people are expecting me to be maybe the best player on one of the best teams in the league well well first off that's a huge honor considering the great players on that list but i don't really look at it like pressure because i feel like i'm prepared um every day me and my teammates work so hard um everything i put into that work um i feel like i'll be ready for the season and i'll be ready to show that uh, james blackman thomas bryant robert johnson thank you guys really appreciate it best of luck this year thank, thank you, you. Thank you.